Are you closer to the geographic center of, of what you would classic Republican or where the Democratic Party is right now? Are, are you still closer to, 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 the, to how far left the Democratic Party has become? No. I'd say I'm more closer to where the, where the Republican was when Judd Gregg was in the Senate. Well, that's so, what I mean. So uh, we got that, two Republicans arguing this. Well, but you, <laughs> on economics, that's probably true. I mean, first of all, on okay. the question, taxing the rich, we already tax the rich. Their slogan ought to be tax the rich more. The question is, are they paying their fair share? And I think uh, there's a significant amount of evidence that they are. I, 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 I th the problem I've got with the Tax the Rich campaign is it's demonizing wealth. Uh, and that's a bad thing in, in our system. I mean, it, we are a better nation, we're, we're a more capable nation, the more wealth we generate. Right. It is true there seems to be a correlation between wealth and people being jerks. Um, uh, <laughs> but that should not cause us necessarily to say that we're going to go after the generation of wealth and make it more difficult. I like that Democrats are doing this because what Democrats ought to be thinking about is how do we help people who are not rich generate wealth? How do we help them generate the wealth that they need to be able to sustain themselves when they reach the age of getting social security? Do we know, Senator, and, I'm, I'm, and then we'll get to you, Jeb, but do we know once we do this and we get the big pot of money, do we know what we should do with it and, and how to fix things that, that or is the reason we're doing this is because we've got to fix all these things. How are we going to fix these things? Well, I, I, don't know, I don't hear anyone who, we, we've tried to fix them before throwing money at them and, and, it, and it hasn't worked. How are we going to fix it? <laughs> well, what do we do? They throw it at you and me, it's fine. We'll do, we'll do what fine. What about throwing it at the deficit? I could even see doing that. No, look, we're, we're borrowing a trillion dollars to make this year's budget. So that, that, that really that's makes That's not what it... they want to do with it. They want to spend it. I know, I know. Look, the problem is the slippery slope with tax the rich is you begin to think, gee, I'm a member of Congress, I can allocate capital. If you knew how to allocate capital, you wouldn't be in Congress. So the whole idea that now all of a sudden I'm going to take that money, I'm going to allocate it in some productive way, uh, there's, there's certain areas where you can actually demonstrate there's, there's increased productivity, but otherwise all you're doing is transferring one group of money to another group of people and, and spending the money. Judd, I want you to, to channel Mrs. Gregg, if you could, in, in this conversation, because uh, she, she and I are closer to, 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 to pure... To, to purists, right, Judge? She always tells well, you that. Well, you're, you're, you you're, <laughs> you're not anywhere near where she is when it comes to purists. <laughs> Even I'm not. Uh, but I want to say this. Uh, Bob, your time to run for president is now. That I know you now. tried earlier, know. but it's now. One, one ex-wife I mean, You're enough. right on. You're right on. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know if you haven't tried? <laughs> yeah. um, so you don't even need to, you just... You just need to say, I, I think what Bob says is that, it, or what well, do you... I think I think it's important to get to the basis of this debate, which is, are you going to have a country <clears throat> which is dominated by people who are running on envy politics, or are you going to have a country which is dominated by people who are running on opportunity politics? And when you're talking about taxing the rich as the way you solve your problems as a nation, you're basically talking about centralizing the decision process in a few people who collect all that money and then redistribute it as versus allowing people to create wealth and have the opportunity to get, get ahead in our society. Uh, and, you know, our market economy has done more to create wealth than any economy in the history of the world. And it continues to do that. You nobody's look at the doing people well who become... Anymore, nobody's doing you, any good anymore, Judd. That, that's Judd that's <laughs> Anderson. No, no. no, no nobody's you, but, making more money than their parents. Yeah, yeah, and there's no, yeah. you know, there's no other extenuating societal uh, <laughs> okay. forces for, the, for the that. But, Judd, here's... Uh, look. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Ray, no, so, look. Get, you, soapbox. Move it Hold over. Hold on. Here. You, like you haven't been yeah. sitting on a well, soapbox I, I for three hours my, every morning mine's for 20 not about, years. Mine's not sig <laughs> okay. signaling my virtue uh, and, how, and how, how empathetic and, and, and compassionate I am. S That's Senator, not. so Ray Dalio has a new, oh, uh, has a new essay out. Uh, well, he's worth about $20 billion, by the way, who, who, in this country, using capitalism. Okay, Joseph. Go ahead. Who goes through... <laughs> Joseph, okay, Andrew. <laughs> who go, Andrew jo Ross. <laughs> Judd, who goes through... Um, the math of what's happened really over the last 75 years in America. And one of the things that he says, which I think is very true about capitalism today, I heard he you says the children who grow up today, the percentage of children who grow up to earn more than their parents <clears throat> has fallen from 90% in 1970 to 50% today. That's not an improvement. If, if this is all working so well, you'd think that that number would get better, not worse. Well, and, and, yeah, Andrew, and, I think that number is totally fallacious. Okay. To begin with, the society as a whole, the, the water has raised, so exceeding your parents is a more challenging event. That's number true. two, number two, 
the government has increased dramatically, and the debt that the government is putting on our children is going to make it no, very hard for their standard now. of living to increase. It, it, no, no, you've got to listen to this. Less, I know you government. don't want to hear this, Andrew, oh, go ahead. but you've got to listen to this. Look at a country I'm like trying. France. Your, your friend is Less regulation. Less regulation now. Look That's at a country okay. like France, where they have continued to move less left aggressively for the last 30 years. Their standard of living continues to go down. Why? Because you have a concentration of decision process on the market being made by a few people in the government. And it's an inefficient way to run in a market, and it creates less opportunity. And on top of that, you pile I'm not, I'm a not debt system. I'm not arguing to run the country like France. I think the, the only questions that are out there right now is. Yes, you are. No, no, no. I'm I mean, not. you're basically proposing a French model. I, I mean, I, that's I, what a socialist <laughs> position is. Find the tape that says that. Actually, he's just. I mean, this is no, just you completely don't made up it, strong and ridiculousness. No, it's just if you want to lie on have. television, Please. we can have a larger conversation. But, Senator, no, no. The, the question is. Do we need to spend more on education? You may say we don't. Maybe you say we're misspending all of the, all the money no, on education. No, I, I actually you, think education is the key to the whole exercise. Okay, okay so but then the you, problem got, then is, you have to, okay, the if problem you want to spend more on education, tell me where you want to get the money from. Well, you, let's, let's start with what the problem of education is. The yeah. problem of education is the teachers' room. unions. Public. The teachers' unions are teaching to the lowest common denominator. I don't disagree that that's They're one not private sector. The problem. private sector the private sector is not running education. That's the problem. When, when, you, when you try you to get to this charter morning, schools in the, in the, the cities the, like New York, you look good. <laughs> who opposes them? The teachers' unions oppose the charter schools. And the charter schools are where the opportunity is being created for You're not kids getting, who don't I'm have a chance. I'm not going to debate that point. I'm, I'm, well, I'm a big no fan answers. of charter schools. All you've schools. got are criticisms. The, no, no. But the, this, look, the question is, <laughs> how do you do with health care? You criticize capitalism with no answers. How do you do with education? No you criticize where do you get the money from? No and how do you do it when you're overspending to begin with in an economy that's doing as well as it is right now? Well, that, that's the looking, issue. The issue you're looking is for more you're, taking, money on, for you're taking on a trillion dollars of debt right now when the economy is actually doing well and you're not even investing in the things that need to be invested in. Well, so tell but, me where you get the money from. Well, if I would if you'd give me an opportunity, Andrew. You should be in the Senate. You're filibustering me. <laughs> the, simple fact, the simple fact is that education is primarily a local issue, and that's where the money comes from, in your local governments and your state governments. The federal government puts very little money. I chaired the Education Committee in the Senate. We put very little money into education at the elementary and secondary school level, which is where the problems are. The real issue in education is the fact that so much of it is drained off by administrative costs and by unions which refuse to allow opportunity in the school system to give kids a better chance to learn, such as charter schools. Bob, last word. Look, I, I, I think the best way to focus on this, this taxing the rich idea is that uh, if you look at what the Democrats have proposed on Social Security, back to your initial uh, categorization of me, I think they've got a very good proposal on Social Security. It solves a 75-year problem, but what it doesn't do is help lower income, lower wealth in Americans generate wealth. And rather than trying to figure out how to make it more difficult to generate wealth in America, we should try to be, be trying to figure out how to make it easier for people that don't have wealth to generate. How do you like a man without a country? Uh, you, you I love be, America. Yeah, yeah, I know you do. I'm yeah. talking about the Democratic Party. They're like, uh, <laughs> like who, oh, you know, who dat? That's what who they see would say to you. Who dat? <laughs>